let's just take you through the improvements that uh, they tell you you're going to get. You're going to get the 4.2 uh, Android update, security enhancements, uh, printing cloud print service improvement, a new Bluetooth profiles to support more, uh, support of Flash Player removed from the browser. Okay, I'll install that later because what I want to do, what I want to do is uh, download and Tutu and run benchmarks before and after. This is very notice noticeable, the difference when you get an update. I have noticed uh, on the Galaxy Note 2, I've noticed 10% performance improvements on... I've noticed 10% performance improvements on uh, an update. So let's uh, just quickly install that and run a, a benchmark test and then we'll see whether it's better after we've put the 4.4 KitKat on. Ready? Here we go. Let's test it. Frames per second because they've got to draw more pixels. So 26,007 almost exactly. Let's uh, install the update now. Let's just show the details. Okay, so that's on Jelly Bean. Let's just show you that it is on Jelly Bean. Here we go. Um, settings about um, software information 4.3 okay so now we're going to update that to the uh, new version tap to install the system update okay here we go Now the phone's booting to do its install. There we go. This is the boring part. Fairly major update, getting a full new operating system like KitKat, so uh, this will take some time. Um, I'm going to cut the video to make it more interesting, unless you wish to watch the whole thing through, in which case, please feel free, I'll put a separate video of the entire update on. Okay, well I did pause the video because watching a blue line travelling across the screen is not the most interesting thing in the world, but now it's finished and we should get the uh, first boot up with the new operating system flashed to the ROM. So here we are, let's just check um, settings about software information and you can see here it says we're running Android 4.4.2 uh, same version of HTC Sense and the phone's been updated to KitKat, first of the non-released phones on KitKat to be updated out of the Samsung, Sony, uh, Motorola and HTC that I have had. So, um, well done HTC, uh, you've stolen the march on everybody else and you've managed to get your phone updated before all the other premium smartphones. Congratulations. We did an Antutu benchmark on the phone just before we got the KitKat update, and now I'm going to run another one after getting the KitKat update. So it was 26,007 before, and I'm going to run the test again, and we'll see if it's any better. It should be slightly faster. Each subsequent iteration of, of Android does seem to make the phone run a little bit faster. And KitKat is reputed to use less system resources than any previous version. So there you have it. That is a significant improvement in performance and all I have done is install uh, Android 4.4 KitKat over the 4.3 Jelly Bean that was running on the phone before and we've gone from 26,007 to 27,969. That's a significant improvement in performance. It's 
somewhere close to about 15% performance increase. Um, there you have it. That is absolutely amazing. Just by updating the software, we've taken that to from just over 26,000 to just under 28,000 on the Antutu benchmark scale. So there you have it. Um, if you're wondering whether or not to do the update, you really ought to because it will improve your phone's performance significantly.